Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Malara Obiwomi of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Williamstown, New Jersey, in the United States. And the visioneer for Kingdom Jewels International. I praise God for another presence, another time in his presence this morning. I do not take this for granted that I'm alive and you are alive and you are watching this video. Glory be to the name of the Lord. A lot of people have passed under the ground. But you are, we are still alive. And we are seeing the end of this year. Much, many, much more, 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 more years to come. Glory be to the name of the Lord. We thank God Almighty for the life of uh, my assistant in Kingdom Jewels, um, Jewel Anne and Jory. Congratulations on your birthday. On Monday, 40th birthday. Oh, wow. Glory be to the name of the Lord for your life. I appreciate you. I say happy birthday again. I'm so excited. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. As we go into your word this morning, speak to us in the language we will understand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I ask, O oh Lord, that you allow power, your power to enter into this video and heal the sick, set the captive free in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to read two Bible passages this morning, so I will not be reading two different um, versions as I do. I usually do. Um, I'm reading John chapter 1, 1 to 5. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was nothing made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended not. And then the second Bible passage is going to be from the book of Psalm, chapter 139, from verse um, 13 to 16. And I'm going to read it from a contemporary English this time. It says, you are the one who puts me together inside my mother's body. And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this, I have no doubt. 15. Nothing about me is hidden from you. I was secretly woven together deep in the earth below. But with your eyes, your own eyes, you saw my body being formed. Even before I was born, you had written in your book everything I will do. Praise the Lord. This morning, I'm just going to talk about God, the Creator. God the Creator. The Bible says in verse 2 of John chapter 1 that, that the same was in the beginning with God. And then verse 3 says, All things were made by Him. All things without uh, by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him, in Him, in Him was life. And we know when we, in, when we are talking about in the beginning and the world, we are talking about the Lord Jesus. And he is the one that created all things. It, the Bible says in the book, uh, in the book of Psalm that we read, uh, verse 13, in King James Version, he said, For thou hast possessed my reins, and thou hast covered me with my mother's womb. In um, another version, that's New King James Version, it says, you are the one that puts me together in my mother's womb. So when I just want to look at the word of God, you know, sometimes we can look at it in covering everybody. But today I just want to look at the word of God covering myself or yourself individually. Look at God being the one that formed you in your mother's womb. He said, for that, it will possess me from my mother's womb. You put me together. The Bible says, without him was nothing made that was made. And verse 4 says, in him, in him was life. He's the one that has given you life. He's the one that created you and I. He said, With, without him was nothing made that was made. He said, he puts me together in my mother's womb. And he went ahead in the book of Psalm 139. Sorry, I'm putting them together because the, the, the two uh, uh messages are the same it says i will praise you for i am fearfully and wonderfully made so if you are fearfully and wonderfully made by this god that created you and i 
and is the one that formed you and I in our mother's home. What does this imply? How do are we supposed to take this? You know, this morning I was just looking at the word of God. And I just look at it, if, if it's the one that puts me together in my mother's home. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1 that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He went ahead and went ahead and every day God created something. And he looked at it and he said it was good. When he created man, he now said it was very good. That means if there is anything in your body that is not glorifying God, you can approach him with this word. The word of God that says he puts you together in your mother's womb. He puts me together in my mother's womb and looked at me and said, oh, it was good. That photos that was placed in my mother's womb was good. So if there is sickness in your body, know that it's not of God. If anything is not functioning well, know that it's not of God. This God we serve is a good God. He never fails. He never puts his children to shame. And he created you, spirit, soul, and body. It says in verse 14 of Psalm 139, that I will praise thee because I was fearfully made and I was wonderfully made. He went ahead and said, marvelous are thy works. And that's my soul know it right well. If anything at all is my body that will not cause me to praise God, then I should know that it is not of God. God has never been sick. So it means there is no sickness in heaven. It means that he that created you, created you complete and well. He puts you together in your mother's home. So that it is not about what the man did or what the woman did. It is not, uh, people will say, oh, you are the product of your daddy or your mother. You are not the product of anybody but of God. If the Bible says is the one that puts you together, it says you are the one who put me together inside my mother's body. It puts you and I together. Standard English um, translation says, for you formed me in my inwards. You formed my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. God created your kidney. He created your heart. He created your liver. He created your brain. He created everything inside of you. You say you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together. Imagine, a lot of times I sit down and I wonder, how come, what is it that is holding the kidney to where the kidney is? That is holding the stomach to where the stomach is? That is making the blood flow, the veins, everything. That is what God did. Created us. Even when there was, it was dark. He said, my frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret. <laughs> Intricately woven in the depths of the earth, 
Your eyes saw my formed substance in your book were written, every one of them. The Bible, Bible is telling us that God created you. And before you came to this earth, he knows who you will be. He knows what you will pass through. He said to Jeremiah, because before you were you, you, you were uh, formed in your mother's womb. I have known you. So whatever you are passing through now, God knows about it. Isn't that worthy of praise? Knowing that he knows. Jehovah sees. Jehovah knows. That pain in your body. That problem in your, uh, in your life. That marital issue. God knows about it. So why don't why do we why should we take a thorn cloth to a carpenter? Or why should you take a broken leg to a tailor? The creator is encouraging us this morning. Letting know, us know that he's the one that created us. We talked about the potter. We talked about him being the God of all flesh. So if you look at it now, and knowing that he is the God of all flesh, he is the potter, he is the creator, he is the one that formed you, he is the one that has known you before you were born. So if there is any problem at all, you go to him. The manufacturer of a car always has a, a, a extra part. He can fix it. He can correct it. He can turn around your life. The Bible says in, in him is life. He has come that we might have abundant life. Brethren, the word of God this morning is admonishing us. That because he created us, he knows what to do. Don't let us at any time ever give up, give up hope on him. He has time for everything. He will not make a child to come. If a child, a pregnancy comes at uh, um, three months, we'll say it, 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 it's a miscarriage. But at one point, pregnancy comes up because he makes time for everything. He knows your timing. He knows what you need. Cry to him. But for you to be able to, to go to him, to ask, you have to be his own. That is why if you look at verse 12 of John chapter 1, it says he came to his own. As many that received him, he, he gave the power to become children of God. Receive him as your Lord and Savior so that you can go to him. So that he can be the one that will fix it when there is problem in your life. The Lord bless you. And the cause is word to have impact in our lives, yours and mine. And every pain in our lives, every sickness. Because he formed us, he created us, our inward body, our outward body. I pray this morning that he will attend to every case of sickness, of diseases. Anything God cannot fix, he will replace in our lives in Jesus' name. We will be healthy from now on. In Jesus' name we pray again. This is Pastor Lara Obiwomi. Share this video to encourage somebody. And you can watch all my videos on YouTube. Omolara Obiwomi. Obiwomi without the end. The Lord bless you. Father, we pray that your name will ever be glorified in our lives. Amen.